Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, and I'm so honored to have you here as we celebrate the podcast's one year anniversary. Now, last week I talked about uh, some of the lessons learned over the first year of the podcast, and for the next couple of weeks, we are going to revisit the most popular topics, the two most popular topics from the podcast's first year. But first, I want to make sure to mention that also in celebration of the podcast's first year, I am offering one-on-one Reiki business mentoring slash coaching sessions. And you can learn more and schedule your own session for the first two weeks of April at the link down below. I'm really excited to be able to offer uh, a great rate on these one-on-one sessions. So, So I look forward to meeting with you and to helping you build your Reiki business. As I mentioned in the anniversary episode last week, we are going to take a look at the two most popular topics from the last year. Well, the plan was to focus on the number one most popular topic, but It was pretty close as to which one was number one. And so I thought, let's just do both. (laughs) And so what the way that we're going to do that is that we'll first listen in on the episode, the original episode on the topic. And then I will offer the week after that a brand new episode on that same topic. Now we're going to play the episode, the the first episode on the topic so that uh, I remember what it was I talked about and I'm not repeating myself in the uh, new episode and I'm offering new information on that topic. So This week, we're doing the number two most popular episode of the podcast's first year. Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this week's episode, we're talking about content creation, content creation for our Reiki business. This is a great topic, a popular one, and as a matter of fact, this topic is a bonus in the Build Your Reiki Business program. So there is a whole like two-hour recording of being a content boss in the Build Your Reiki Business program. I only have 20 minutes in this podcast, and so please know that there is so much more to say about content creation than I can ever fit into one Build Your Reiki Business podcast episode. That's why there's a whole lot of info about it in the Build Your Reiki Business program. But first, I want to define what I mean by content. Content is all of the stuff you create in your Reiki business. We often think of content as social media content, but it's not just that. That's only a piece of it. Content is also um, any flyers that you create, um, your manuals, your um, course materials, um, anything that you create for your Reiki business is content. And so when you create content and you think about creating content, just know that it is so much more expansive than social media. Although that's what we think of immediately when we think of content for our Reiki business. And so yes, the content does include things like 
social media posts or videos, um, advertisements, emails. That's all content. So it's really pretty much anything that you create for your Reiki business. And whether it is meant for um, a private group of students or public consumption, no matter who the audience is, whether it's a flyer hanging up in your neighborhood community center, all content. And so I encourage us to recognize that content is so much more than just social media posts. As a matter of fact, social media posts are not even necessarily the best or most valuable content for our Reiki business. Now, I believe that there is a content hierarchy and that uh, some content is more valuable than other kinds of content. And this really depends upon a couple of things. Number one, where you're posting your content, whether online or offline. Number two, what your Reiki business model is, because different businesses will use different kinds of content in different kinds of ways. Let me just give you an example to illustrate what I mean. Let's say that you have a completely online distance Reiki business. So your business is completely online. You have no in-person component. You do nothing in person with your Reiki business. Well, then printed content is not going to be valuable in your Reiki business at all. No one's going to see your printed content. You're not even going to have printed content in your Reiki business because your audience, students, clients, everyone is online and you have no one that you are distributing your content to offline. So that means that any kind of printed content is not, not going to be valuable to you at all. Whereas with someone with an in-person Reiki business, they're going to have some printed content, some uh, content that is actual, tangible, physical content that they are distributing for their Reiki business. So when we talk about the content hierarchy, it is important to note that it is different for different businesses, but I really like to consider content in terms of what is most valuable to what is generally least valuable. Again, depending upon your own Reiki business, this may not be true for your particular business, depending upon your Reiki business model. But when it comes to content, oftentimes the most valuable content is video because people are able to see you, they're able to hear you, they are able to get a feel for you, what the, your mannerisms, your energy. And so that uh, video content is oftentimes the most valuable. Audio content is oftentimes valuable. Well, it is valuable in your Reiki business, but is oftentimes the second most valuable in your Reiki business. By the way, um, video content would be something like YouTube videos, shorts, reels, um, IGTV, you know, any kind of video content where people can see you, see uh, you interacting. Um, and, and yes, whenever I say see you and the, the video itself, you in the video is the most um the most valuable because then people are able to get to know you and get a feel for you, sense your energy and see your mannerisms, your funny faces or your stumbling over words or whatever it might be. And then oftentimes on the content hierarchy, audio is the second most powerful, the second most valuable. Because with audio, like a podcast, for instance, with audio, people aren't able to see you, but they can still 
hear you. And so they can still get a feel for your energy, your mannerisms, the way in which you speak, your personality is going to come through that. And so audio is often second on the content hierarchy. And third on the content hierarchy is often written. So things like posts or blogs, things, uh, emails, things that people read that don't have video or audio um, and are simply words on a page. This, I feel, is the most um, valuable to least valuable in terms of the content hierarchy. Video, audio, and print. Now, the content hierarchy goes much deeper than this. Remember, I've only got 20 minutes in this podcast, but I've got a whole like an hour and a half, two hours for that Be a Content Boss workshop that is a bonus in the Build Your Reiki Business program. But along with that content hierarchy is a difference in the level of difficulty to create that content. So the easiest content to create is print content, words. And when I say print, I mean either printed, actually printed, or just words, print words on a screen, on a computer screen, a post, or wherever it might be. So in person, um, distance, online, whatever it might be. Oftentimes, um, print words as the least valuable is also the easiest to create. Oftentimes, so much easier than uh, audio or video. Now, you may be thinking, Christian, I hate writing. It's so hard for me to write. Now, I'm not talking about the your own personal level of skill at the thing. I'm just talking about the amount of work that goes into creating it. Typically, in terms of, you know, you sit down at the computer, the computer typically has a built-in keyboard. There's no extra equipment for that. You just start typing away, copy paste into a post on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and hit send and it's done. And so the mechanics of it are so, so much simpler than other kinds of content creation. So um, it is the least valuable, but the easiest to create is words, print. The second most challenging to create is audio. And again, the second most valuable is audio. So you speaking. And this is a little harder to create than the printed word because, um, you know, you might need to edit it. So you might need to um, cut out some noise, some background noise. Um, in a podcast episode, for instance, I might have to go back and cut out my cat meowing or something like that. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, we often have to revise that audio. So that's some extra work right there. In addition, sometimes our computer microphone is not so great and we might need an external microphone. We would need to open up a special app on our computer or phone in order to record the audio, and then we have to upload that audio file in some way to be able to get it out to others. And so there's a lot of extra steps with audio that are not the case with print, which means that audio is the second most challenging and the second most valuable. And then the most valuable kind of content is also the hardest to create, video. Because with video, not only do you have to worry about audio and making sure that you can be heard, but you also have to make sure that you can be seen. Maybe you need to get um, some special lighting 
so that you can be seen well and the videos look nice. Maybe you need a special camera. You need a uh, special video editing software to be able to edit the videos, edit out your cat photo bombing or something, video bombing, um, whatever the case might be, there is often a lot more work that goes into video. And if you compare print to video, you can see just how much more work is involved with video than is involved with print. And so interestingly enough, there's an, an inverse hierarchy here where with the most valuable to the least valuable, it is also the most challenging to the least challenging to create. So what that means is that when we are starting our content creation journey in our Reiki business journey, it is easiest for us to start with the word, to start with print. Now, again, you may be thinking, Christian, I have a hard time writing and writing is harder for me than being on video. Okay, definitely go with what feels comfortable to you. But again, I'm talking about the sheer amount of work in terms of the mechanics, in terms of the setup that goes into it. So I'm not talking about any skill level that you might have, but rather talking about just the amount of time that it takes to do all the things involved, all of the steps that are involved in the process. So what that means is that for newer Reiki business owners, print content may be the easiest place for you to start with um, post creation, writing posts, um, writing blog articles. Blog articles, by the way, do not have to be long, but starting to get things in print. This may be a much more feasible place for you to start in your Reiki business than to start with saying, oh, I'm going to create a bunch of videos. I'm going to create a bunch of audio and to find that it is very time consuming and get discouraged by the steps. The more steps there are between us and the completion of a project, the greater chance there is for us to uh, stop. There are more chances for us to say, this is too hard, this is too challenging, I can't figure this out. Oh, I can't get my microphone to work. Forget this audio thing. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Every time I try, the lighting is awful and ah, I just can't figure this out. Or, oh man, my video editing app is just so challenging to figure out. So there are lots of points. The more steps there are, the more points there are at which we can bail <laughs> and say, no, thank you. I'm not going to do this after all. This is too hard, too challenging. I don't feel like figuring it out. I don't have the time to figure it out. I'll figure it out later. And then we never do. And so what that means is that um, if you are a newer Reiki business owner or just considering starting your Reiki business, starting off with video might be more challenging for you because you're new and because of the steps. But if you're already a pro at making videos, then it just might be completely natural for you to start off with making videos. If you are already doing some audio kinds of things, it might be a piece of cake for you to just go ahead and do audio, start a podcast or whatever it might be. But oftentimes, because the written word is so much easier to just get out there, that can be a great place for us to start on our Reiki business content creation journey. But know that in your Reiki business, when it comes to reaching people and letting them get, a no, get to know you and get a feel for who you are, the order is video, audio, and word. And so when we can use all three, that is really the 
when when we can use all of those ways of uh, creating content and for people to get to know us to our benefit. So I do encourage using all of those content creation means as they feel comfortable to us and as we feel comfortable with branching out with them. You don't have to do all of them and you don't have to do all of them right at once. And Eventually, moving into each of those areas, yes, can be very helpful for your Reiki business and your content creation journey. The real point of content is for people to get to know you, to get to like you, and to trust you. You want to show people who you are. You want to show them what they can expect from you and how you can help them. And you want them to feel comfortable with you because if people don't feel comfortable with you, they're not going to buy from you. If people don't feel comfortable with you after watching some of your videos, the chances are pretty low that they're going to book a session with you. Now, I do want to say that not everyone is going to like you, and that's okay. So what that means is that there are absolutely people who maybe listen to an episode of this podcast, and they're like, this is not for me. This Christian guy, I don't, I don't like him. I don't like the way he talks. I don't like the way he laughs. I don't like the information he's sharing. It's no good. I'm not interested. No thanks. So some people are just not going to like you through the content that you share. But that's okay. That's actually a good thing because then they've realized, uh, you know, this content isn't for me and they can go and find and follow someone else who is a better fit for them. So it's not a bad thing to um, show people who you are because it's by showing people who you are that people get to know you and potentially get to like you and hopefully get to trust you too, so that they feel comfortable getting to know you better, whether through a session, a course, or whatever it might be. So content is important and powerful for all of that. What's also important and powerful in your Reiki business is to share your content frequently. You want to frequently be putting content out there. I can tell you that I frequently get questions, concerns, messages from Reiki business owners who have no clients. And they're very worried. They don't understand I have no clients. And I take a look at what they're doing, maybe on their Facebook page, for instance, and they haven't posted in a while. There's really no content there. Or maybe they have a YouTube channel, but they only post a video once a month. When we aren't putting content out there, we're not giving people the opportunity to get to know us. And so if people don't have the opportunity to get to know us, they're not going to become a client. So give people the opportunity to get to know you by putting your stuff out there. Create the content and get it out there. Disperse it, have it show up in different places where people can find it, send it to people, and get your content available and able to be found and consumed. We know that people need to consume a certain amount of content before they feel comfortable making a purchase. And so that means that someone might need to listen to 10 podcast episodes before they purchase the Build Your Reiki Business program. Someone might need to watch four of my YouTube videos before Maybe they need to watch four, four months worth of my choose one of three card readings before they schedule a card reading for themselves. Maybe they need to see 20 of my posts before they say, hmm, you know, maybe I'll book some 
business coaching with this guy. I think he has some good things to offer. We just don't know at what point someone might want to, if ever, purchase from us. Now, one final thing I want to say about content creation. There is, again, so much to say, and that's why it's a whole big bonus in the Build Your Reiki Business program. You can actually learn more about what's in the Be a Content Boss Workshop bonus uh, at uh, standingstoneshealing.com slash build. There's just so much more to say about content creation. But one thing I do want to make sure to say is that for our content creation, I really believe that we need to change the way that we view our content and look at it not as a way to quote unquote get clients, but to look at it as a a way of serving. It's a service. It's a way of helping in the world because so many more people will consume your content than ever purchase from you. I'll say that again. So many more people are going to consume your content than ever make a purchase from your Reiki business. And that is not a bad thing. That is not a sad thing. That is not a thing to say, oh, Boo-hoo, I put all of this content out there and only a fraction of the people who consume the content are ever going to bring me any money. No way. That's not what it's about. It's about helping people to get to know, like, and trust you, sure. But it's also, more importantly, about serving. For me, when I think of the fact that so many more people have and are and will consume my content than will ever purchase from Standing Stones Healing Company, it's actually a beautiful thing. I get filled with a sense of awe and reverence and just humility to know that so many more people are benefiting from and being impacted by the stuff I put out there, than I will ever know in terms of dollars and income. It's incredible to think that we can help so many more people than we ever realize through what shows up on our calendar or in our business bank account. To me, that's empowering and humbling and absolutely simply beautiful. And so what that means is that I want to encourage us not to take our content creation lightly, but to rather bring our love and light and energy to our content and to create it with a sense of love and light and compassion. Bring Reiki to our content because it's going in all kinds of places that we just can't even imagine and helping people in all kinds of ways that we can't even imagine. And so I want to encourage all of us to get out there with our content, create it and send it out so that people get to know, like, and trust you so that we can help others with our content and just continue to spread the love. So I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes to continuing to spread the love with your content. Get out there, create content, spread it far and wide, create it consistently, please, again and again and again, and um, learn about content assets because I believe that there are assets when it comes to content, the best kinds of content to make, not just about It's not just about that content hierarchy, but indeed, I believe there are content assets that continue to work for us. I talk all about that in the Be a Content Boss workshop that is part of the Build Your Reiki Business program. And I'll be completely honest with you, the Be a Content Boss workshop bonus 
there are two other bonuses with that program that are worth more than the registration fee for the Build Your Reiki Business program. So definitely do check that out, standingstoneshealing.com slash build. I'm sending so many blessings to your content creation. Of course, as always, you're welcome to get the free Reiki Biz Kit that uh, maybe talks about some of these things in the FAQ, standingstoneshealing.com slash Reiki Biz Kit. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.